Hey guys, it's Willy Cuz. Welcome back to more Assassin's Creed Revelations. Without further ado, this is part six, and we're gonna get right back into it for all you amazing people. Hope you. You see this rack? Incredible quality. Your feet will love you more than your wife does. I am not married. Ah, oh, you are better off. Come, feel it. You have sold well today. I have not sold a thing. The Janissaries confiscated most of my rods just because they were imported. Do you know Tariq Barletti, their captain? Uh, he's around here somewhere, an arrogant man, but... Uh, you insult me, sir! I cannot take less than 200 action for this. My final offer. When I find him, I will ask about the rugs. You drive a hard bargain, Yabanche. Shall we compromise at 180? 180 Octave. And we part as friends. There he is. I pray Selim can soon return to a city in good spirits. From her hands. The prosciutto is better, but not the brachiola. I do not know who the artisan is, but guaranteed he's a my beloved is at this moment talking to the paymaster of the city watch. Mehmed's accomplishments. I'm beginning to think this bazaar was the finest. If you have no business here, you do not belong. Lead the way! I want that contract. I have a large new administrator. No loitering! My reputation will surely be made in one throw. What of you? I have not seen you. You have no business here, you do not belong! They have great thirst, hunger, and protectors. This is an important meeting. Make sure I am not being followed. Those guys are always coming up at the worst possible times trying to assassinate me. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. Yo, can you tell him 
Be back tomorrow. And if you have not disposed of all this foreign made garbage, I will confiscate it myself and throw it into the Bosphorus. In the way! Manuel has agreed to meet you, Tarek. He's waiting by the arsenal gate. <laughs> An eager old weasel, isn't he? Come. <laughs> we verify the amount, Tarek. But the money stays with me until I have seen the cargo for myself. And the save its quality. Understood. You are a shrewd man, Manuel. Trust without cynicism is hollow. The count is good, Tarek. It's all here. So, what now? You will have access to the arsenal. When you are satisfied, the cargo will be delivered to a location of your choosing. Are your men prepared to travel? Not a problem. Polikala, I will have a map drawn up for you within the week. We here for the same reason. One of my men claims he saw a shipment of weapons enter the arsenal. So I got curious. Weapons? I would like to see them for myself. And short of killing everyone, I'm not sure how you will get inside. You have been warned twice. No merchants near the arsenal wall. Take this away. Hypocrites! If your men did not buy my produce, I would not sell it here! You are worse than the Byzantines, you traitor! Ah! Hold your tongue, parasite! Even in times of peace, the poor are always under siege. If we inspire them to vent their anger, perhaps that will help our cause. Feigning solidarity to push your own agenda. The gentleman. No? It is not pretty, I know. But it will work. Oh, we know it will. Don't worry. The Janissaries are corrupted, good people of Constantinia. They have surrendered their loyalties to the devil. 
and do injuries to our society's enemies. But we are doing Men and women of the city, hear me now. You have broken no laws and thus deserve no abuse. That gate will not stay closed for long. The people are doing you a favor, Ezio. Return it, and keep them safe from harm. Murono! He's Leclerc! I dream of betraying a man of your influence, but you must be patient. Nova Roma wasn't built in a day. I'm satisfied. Take me to my ship. If a single one is damaged, the money stays with me. I have got the right to 
Salute! I am closing in on two more books. One near Topkapa, and the other in the Bayzid district. Bayzid first. Topkapa will be a dead end. Ah, see. What do you make of this? Oh, Ezio. Incredibile. Early Coptic bindings, still in good shape. Amazing. This must be a third century transcription of the original. Sophia, what happened here? Oh, that happens once or twice a year. People break in thinking they will find money. I do not keep much here, but this time they made off with a portrait of some value. It is a shame. You keep working. I will find your painting. Ezio, the thief could be anywhere by now. If the thief came for money, but took a painting, he should be close by, eager to get rid of it. Well, if you happen to find it within the next few hours, meet me by the aqueduct. I will be running errands. Where is it, Ladro? Confess! I have done nothing. You cannot prove a damn thing. I do not need to. I will just keep hitting you until you talk. I found that thing. I mean, someone give it. Get your story straight before you lie to my face. God help me! He has much better things to do than answer I do not care how you got the painting. Just tell me where it is. I sold it to a merchant in the bazaar. How else will I feed myself? Next time, find a nicer way to be a canaria. I have a painting for sale, if you are curious. A luminous portrait. You see how lifelike she looks? It is a good likeness, don't you think? I prefer the original. <laughs> Buffone. This was a gift from my father for my 28th birthday. I had to sit for Messer Albrecht Durer for a full week. Can you imagine me sitting still for seven days doing nothing? I cannot. Una tortura. <laughs> so, I found you another book location. And it is not far from here, actually. Grazie. Ezio. What is this all about? You are not a scholar, that much is clear. Do you work for the church? <laughs> not the church, no. But I am a teacher, of a kind. I will explain one day, Sophia, when I can. What did you find? Another key? Door of some kind, bricked up with hard stone. Ah, promising. The first key was found behind a similar door. Timulus. And how did they open that door? They did it. The earthquake did. Iperoha. All we have are a few barrels of gunpowder. This should do. And if it does not, we get more. Yeah. The assassin! Go! Go! You will not leave here alive!
Show yourself! He's dead! Ville! Competíjame. No, no. He is here somewhere. Behind us! Riggs the two! Steady! Bastardo. Show yourself. We have gunpowder. We should use it. Stand back. Give me some room. I'm supposed to believe that he yaga that absolute just uh, unit of a gunpowder barrel. He just single-handedly <laughs> yeeted that that far and that high. That thing must have weighed like a ton. You're He's kidding. behind us! Never underestimate this madman! down. The Templars have retaken their archive on Cyprus. Abbas sent no reinforcements. It was a massacre. Oh my god. 
Maria. When we left myself ten years ago, this order was strong. But all our progress has been undone. Abbas must answer for this. Answer to whom? The assassins obey only his command now. Resist your desire for revenge, Altair. Speak truth and they will see their error. He executed our youngest son, Maria. He deserves to die. Perhaps. But if you cannot win back the Order by honorable means, its foundation will crumble. You are right. Thirty years ago, I let passion overtake my reason. And it caused a rift that has never fully healed. Speak reasonably, and reasonable men will listen. Some will. I should have expelled him 30 years ago when he tried to steal the apple. But you earn the respect of the other assassins because you let him stay. How do you know this? You were not there. I married a masterful storyteller. Look at this place. Masyaf is a shadow of its former self. We have been away for a long time. But not in hiding. The Mongol threat demanded our attention and we rode to meet it. What man here can say the same? Where is our eldest son? Does Darim know his brother is dead? I sent him a message four days ago. With luck, it has reached him already. Abbas, I almost pity him. He wears his grudge like a cloak. His wound is deep. It will help him to hear the truth. As I walk these streets, I sense a great fear in the people. Not love. Abbas has dismantled this place and robbed it of all joy. We may be walking to our doom, Maria. We may, but we walk together. Let them speak. We seek the truth about our son's death. Why was Seth killed? Is it the truth you want? Or an excuse for revenge? If the truth gives us an excuse, we will act on it. Surrender the apple, Altair, and I will tell you why your son was put to death. Ah, the truth is out already. Abbas wants the apple for himself, not to open your minds, but to control them. You have held that artifact for 30 years, Altair, reveling in its power and hoarding its secrets. It has corrupted you. Very well, Abbas. Take it. What? Before I executed your son, I told him you ordered it yourself. He died, believing you had betrayed him. Ah! El Tayer! El Tayer! No! Strength, Altair. Maria. He is possessed! Kill him! Take the apple! Now! Don't let him escape! <laughs> 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 Father, I got your message. What has happened? Darim, turn back! Have they all gone mad? We have to go. Abbas must not get his hands on the apple. If 
You need more knives? Take them. Above you! Where is Mother? She is gone, Dari. I'm sorry. Ahead of us! What? How? Later. First, we fight. Come. Brothers, we need not fight. Forget reason, Darim. They've been poisoned by lies. Let them catch us! Was it Abbas who killed my brother? He killed your brother, Malik, and countless others. He is a madman. A madman with an army. He will die. One day he will pay. Was it Abbas who killed my brother? I will have the apple, Altair. And I will have your head for all the dishonor he brought upon my family. You cannot run forever. Not from us, and not from your lies. Maria. My love. Excellent news, Claudia. I now have a name. Manuel Paleologos, nephew of the deposed Byzantine Emperor Constantine. I have few doubts that he is the man leading the Templars. My task now is to interrogate a traitorous janissary named Tarek Barletti and find the location of the Templar's army. Until then, Sophia and I will continue our search for the one key that remains hidden. With every passing moment, I know my chances grow slimmer. And yet I cannot help but linger some days to stay an extra hour with her. To hear her voice and watch her face animate with joy as she speaks of the things that move her. Her books, her city, her memories. I cannot help but think what a shame it will be when I find the final key. Damn, Ezio. Stray simping, brother. Anyway, guys, this has been part six of Assassin's Creed Revelations. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one if you're so inclined to stick around with me.